hi guys in this video we are going to learn how to create sections for our website and make sure you watch to the end because we are going to use variables to improve our workflow and make quick edits all done with zero code in framer if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Emmanuel Akwan and let's get into the video all right so we're going to start by building this kind of feature section here with the tagline and sub features right so we'll come to our document here and just start by adding some text just writing why you should hire me and we'll change the text style to heading one a style i have saved and i recommend you guys to save styles as well and we'll just set the width to fit content and the height as well to fit content right so we have this set and i already have a section block here which consists of two columns so you can see there's a top column here set to fit content the width and this is actually fixed the paragraph has a fixed width while the entire housing frame is set to fit content so whatever i do to this inner frame the outer frame is going to adjust to it as you can see here so i'll just shrink this in a bit okay and i'll bring this into the frame right so right now what i'll do is duplicate this twice so i'll just hold alt and drag and i'll also hold alt and drag again now you might see it's kind of acting downward but we can work on that so we'll just select the three feature frames here we'll right click and add a frame to it right so that frame we're going to set the width to fill and we'll set the height to fit content we'll also change the direction to horizontal and you can see how that works but this is kind of tight so we'll change the the distribution here to space between right but we'll add a padding that's going to centralize things so we're going to add a padding to the left and right padding of 100 pixels you can see how that looks so we have our section set but we need to create some gap between the line here and this section so we'll just select these two and on the layer panel right click and add a frame and we're going to click on layout so it's responsive right and we'll just set the width of this to fill and the height to fit content so all the content shows right and next off we'll select our frame and increase the gap to 48 that creates some space between the line and this frame for responsiveness, we can also select this frame and make sure the wrap is set to yes, right? And maybe just set a gap of about 40. So when we come to preview here, you can see if I shrink this in, you can see how it collapses when it's getting to smaller views. So we are going to be building this section next, my services. So first, I'll just select this text we created earlier and duplicate it. And I can come to the layers panel and actually drag it out of the row. So now it's standing on its own and I'll change it to my services. And I'll just change this text style to display so it's large. Right. And now I have an image card here already designed with um, the headline and the paragraph text set to fill as well as the image. Right. So I'm going to select it and make it a component. So I'll create component and I can call it cards. Click on create. So let's go back to our frame and we'll just use it to form a service section here. So I can bring in this component right and i just press ctrl d to duplicate 
I can do that four times, right? So you can see there are actually four cards here. So I'll select all of them in the layers panel, right click and add a frame, right? So I'm going to set the width of that frame to fill and I'll set the height to fit content, right? So everything is kind of exploding, but don't worry. So I'll select all the cards here. And I'll change their width from fill. I'm going to change it to fixed. And I'll give them a width of 450 pixels. All right, so you can see how that takes the card back into shape. And the frame holding the card, I'm going to add the wrap to yes. Right, and I'll change the distribution to horizontal. So you can see now the cards are coming into view. But let's just increase the gap to say 80 and our cards are now being positioned properly let's increase this width here so we can see all our cards but there's an issue so if we want to change the text here for example maybe i click on this and i want to change it to product design and we go back you see it's going to update all the cards this is where we have to learn how to use variables. So I'll just select this component and I'll select this product design frame and I'll come here under contents. I'm going to create a variable. I'll call it plain text. So we can call this title and the default text is going to be product design. Right? So if we come back to our frame now, if I select this, under the card section you can see there's a section for title so i can now change this to branding and you can see it only affects this card it doesn't affect the others so maybe let's change this to web design and that's just going to make your cards a whole lot more flexible web development you can equally add variables to your paragraph section here so i can click on this paragraph click on content create variable plain text and we'll just call this um maybe subtext right so i can come over to any card here now web development and create web development structure you can see how that works right let's create some gap between the services and this again so we'll select two of them let's right click and click on add frame right and we'll just increase the gap we'll click on layout and we'll increase the gap on the frame to say 48 to match the first one and let's set the width to fill and the height to fit content so all the content can show and we'll just create some padding just to wrap it up so we'll create some padding at the top and bottom of 100 pixels you can see how that is taking shape so for our entire document we can just set the height to fit content so it contains everything we've designed so far and i'm just going to preview to see how that section is looking if we shrink it in you can see it's going to snap in all right guys so that's the tutorial for today thanks so much for watching and if, if you'd love to learn more how to build sections on your website or just Prima in general just click the video on screen bye bye